got a few bags. I think I might have a problem. <laughs> I'm really looking for that really perfect bag that you can just throw on, grab your camera out, that doesn't look too, hey, there's a camera in here kind of bag. That's what I'm carrying. <laughs> it's heavy. And I liked this one. I took it actually to Europe in September and I was able to get my Sony, my GoPro, sometimes the Insta360, my phone, sunglasses, a wallet, you know, there was a lot going on in this little tiny bag. And I would like just take a carabiner and stick my water bottle or hang my water bottle off the side. And I, it worked, but it's definitely too small and I always was really fearful I was gonna lose something. So I'm going on another trip. So I'm looking for a new bag. This guy, this Timbuktu bag, that's probably 15, 10, 15 years old. I even had Timbuktu repair it. If you guys don't know this, if your, I'm sure that was loud. If your bag starts to fall apart and Timbuktu might be able to fix it for you, I sent it back in and they were, they were able to fix the liner. This is what I've been throwing my Sony in and I can actually fit my Sony, my GoPro and the 360 in here and walk around. But it's, it's once again, I'm afraid I'm gonna lose something. So this is out. Then of course I went on the internet, found another bag from Travel On, which is the same one I took to Europe. It's, no, it's not gonna work. It's 30 bucks and it's out, it's not comfortable. Even though it did hold everything, it just was not practical. So then I went to Belroy. You may have heard of this company. It is a company out of Australia. G'day mate. They have all different kinds of sizes of bags and slings and wallets and they're made of really nice recycled material. They are also a B Corp, which I, I do like that. Um, this particular one is the 10 liter camera sling and what makes it a little bit different is there's some um, dividers on the inside. It does hold quite a bit. These are for the, you know, the dividers for your camera. They don't come out, but they do fold down so you can push them out of the way like that. And it does pretty good. I get one thing that it is lacking is pocket on the back side so this would be nice i know it's padded if they had a little slim pocket back here maybe for a passport or a credit card or something small there's padding on the strap because obviously cameras are heavy and they know you're going to put heavier stuff in here there's um, a way that you can adjust the strap really easily yeah i can't adjust the strap quite as quickly as the guy in the belroy ad but it is pretty easy to adjust. It takes a little practice. You pull it from the top to make it shorter and you lift up the latch from the bottom to make the strap longer. That's the only tip I have for you. <laughs> you can switch the side of where that little adjuster is from the left or the right shoulder, just depending on how you wanna carry your bag. And um, the other nice thing that I found with this is with my Sony a7 IV and the 24 to 105 lens, I could put the camera in with the lens facing down and still zip the bag closed. So that is pretty much the winner for me or why it's a winner for me. The nine liter is nearly identical and I thought it was gonna be my winner because it's a little cheaper, but it's a little bit shorter. So that was, that was why I picked the slightly more expensive one. What I've been putting in this bag is my Sony uh, a7 IV with the 24 to 105 lens. This awesome lens, it's a 72 to 200. It's the F4 new version that just came out. It's, it's awesome. It's about the same weight as my G Master 24 to 105. A GoPro, Insta360, my phone, my wallet, and I can zip this close. And it looks relatively not overstuffed, which I, I like. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. Thanks for this little therapy session. I kind of needed it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I will see you out on the trails or in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cut. I need to make it 10 minutes because that's what all the pros do, right?